It's poetic, isn't it? I mean, okay, it isn't exactly a battle for first place because, yes, there is a three-point gap between the Leafs and the Habs for first place in the North Division, but bragging rights between Leafs and Habs fans are worth so, so much. And the conversation between who's better has been had since the beginning of the season, and tonight, we get a matchup one-on-one, mano y mano. It's going to be fun. And to me, the reason this is such an interesting matchup is because these two teams resemble each other a lot, and they stack up eye-to-eye to each other in a lot of different ways. I know fans will bring up the playoff experience and the superstars and the this and the that, and to Leafs fans, just as well as Habs fans, they don't want to say that they're close to the other. But the fact of the matter is, there is not a huge gap between these two teams in terms of who's better than the other, okay? It's not like, oh, the Leafs are amazing and the Habs suck, or vice versa. Like a lot of people on both sides are trying to make it sound like. And this is going to be a fun one because it's not going to be a sleeper, okay? Both these teams are incredibly competitive. They want to beat each other. There's a rivalry brewing here. So, look, you're going to get a fun one tonight. First things first, we got to start with the lineups here. And you know I resort to Daily Faceoff, but Daily Faceoff has been uh, smoking the ganja, I think, a little bit. Because they had Rasmus Sandin on the second line with Tavares and Mikheyev. Like, no. So here are the lines according to Kristen Shilton, who is a Leafs reporter. Um... Hyman with Matthews and Marner on that top line. Second line, we got Nylander, Tavares, and Mikheyev. Third line, we got VC, Kerfoot, and Engvall. Fourth line, we got Nick Patan, Travis Boyd, and Jason Spezza. Mr. Hattrick back there. It's pretty solid. And you know what? With all the, the injuries that have hit the Leafs, notably Wayne Simmons, I know Leafs fans are broken up about that one because he was playing very good for them. Um, there's still a pretty good lineup here to be iced. And uh, you just got to hope the injury bug will not hit you too bad. And on defense, it's Riley and Brody, Muzzin and Hall, and Dermot and Bogosian. And then the extra pairing is Sandine and Miko Lettinen. And in net, of course, it's going to be Freddie Anderson. And my player to watch tonight for the Toronto Maple Leafs, of course, other than the big stars, like, yeah, of course, you have to watch Matthews, Marner, that type of thing, Nylander. But... Ilya Mikheyev, Soup Man, right? Is that his nickname, Soup? Because he loves that soup. He is a very good player, sneaky good player. He gets a shot in the top six. Like I told you, he's going to be playing with Nylander and Tavares, two big dogs there. And Mikheyev has the skill. He's got the speed. This guy is a speedster. I really think he has the potential to have a great game. And he could be somewhat of a secret weapon for the Toronto Maple Leafs tonight. Keep an eye on Ilya Mikheyev um, playing in that top six today. And my key to victory tonight for the Toronto Maple Leafs is going to be to win the special teams battle, okay? Try to stay out of the box as much as you can, and when you do get sent to the box, make sure you don't let it bite you, okay? I want a good penalty kill out there. And then on the power play with the big boys, you know that's where you got to do your main damage is when you get those power play opportunities. And trust me, Montreal has had trouble staying out of the box the past few games, kind of all season actually. So especially with the Leafs, you guys could really bite Montreal there. Now switching over to the Bleu Blanc Rouge side of things. First line, we got Tatar, Deneau, and Gallagher. That has been a dynamite line for the Montreal Canadiens all season. Second line, Jonathan Drouin with Suzuki and Josh Anderson. Dude, that trade looks better and better every day. Domi for Anderson. And then on the third line, interesting here, Toffoli with Kotkaniemi and a rotation between Perry and Armia. Now, I doubt we see Yoel Armia today because he is still recovering. He's trying to get back into the swing of things, so more likely that it's uh, Corey Perry, but still, good sign for Montreal fans that Yoel Armia is slowly inching his way back towards the lineup. And then on the fourth line, we got Lekkonen with Jake Evans. He has been incredibly good for you guys. And then on the right side, Byron and Froelich taking a mixed set of reps together. Obviously, it's most likely going to be Paul Byron. On defense, hey, no big changes here. Ben Sherratt with Shea Weber. Sherratt, stay out of the box. Stop taking stupid penalties. Second pairing, we got Edmondson with Petrie. Third pairing, we got Kulak and Romanov. We know they like swapping Mete in there, especially out for Romanov, but uh, he's been playing far too well for you to do that here. So it's looking like it's going to be the same as last game with these defensive pairings. My player to watch tonight for the Montreal Canadiens is going to be the goaltender, Mr. Carey Price. Now look, a lot of fans after that last game against the Senators were not too pleased with Price's performance. 
and a lot of people even said that he might have cost him the game. Um, and yeah, look, he is an incredible competitor. He knows he's one of, if not the face of this Habs franchise, and they signed him to a gigantic contract. He knows he needs to have a great game, especially against a good team like the Leafs. He knows he has to step his game up from where it was against the lowly Ottawa Senators. And Habs fans, look, I'm probably going to make a video in the future if this keeps going here with Carey Price, but... I know he's your guy, okay? He's the number one goalie. He always will be Carey Price. But at one point, if he costs you games, do you look at Jake Allen and the awesome performances that he's given the Habs, and maybe you put Allen in net for two games in a row, three games in a row, just to test the waters out a little bit, see what that's like. Uh, at what point do you start considering that? Because yes, that might help you in the short term, but at the same time, Carey's your guy, right? You want him confident and ready in time for the playoffs. But having two starting goaltenders at your disposal who you can kind of rotate through and you can trust every single night is an incredible luxury that is afforded to very, very few teams. And it reminds me of in 2015 when the Calgary Flames, they had Jonas Hiller and Kari Romo and they were kind of just rotating the 1A, 1B between them. We're seeing it now with Miko Koskin and, and Mike Smith. Now granted, Carey Price is eons better than Carey Ramo or Jonas Hiller. Uh, probably, if you put both of them in the net at the same time, Carey Price would still be better than them. But still, uh, you get what I'm trying to say here. It's an advantage and a disadvantage, a blessing and a curse at the same time. And my key to victory, I'm going to have two things here. First things first, already mentioned it, it's Carey Price. Okay, if Carey Price is on his game, the Habs are going to have an incredibly good chance to win tonight. Second, I want four lines of relentless pressure. Julien should be able to roll all all four lines confidently and not be worried about anybody being out there or have to shorten the bench a la John Tortorella. Like from Suzuki and Danu down to Jake Evans, all four lines should be rolling. All right, this should be an interesting one. And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I know the rivalry Habs Leafs, but with guys like Simmons out of the lineup, is this going to be an emotional, feisty, chippy type of game? Or is it going to be a skilled, finesse type of game, a uh, goal-scoring matchup? You know what I mean? A barn burner, okay, with guys like Matthews, Marner, Suzuki. Is that what we're going to get here? So in the comments down below, that's what I want you to let me know. I want you to let me know if you think it's going to be a barn burner or a little feisty game. And what's your prediction? Score game winner. For me, I'm thinking it's going to be a tight, tight game. I'm going to go 3-2 Habs, and I'm going to have Josh Anderson scoring the game winner tonight. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. If you want new hockey content every single day, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It actually helps a lot. And let me know what stuff you want to see, okay? What types of videos. I always love when you guys leave me video ideas in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time.